Was Hassan Mustafa robbed at the 2023 Toronto Super Show? Did Ian Valier unjustfully take home that title? Well, considering my video that I made after the prejudging, I had it very close between these two dudes, and I never had one single person the clear winner. I would say absolutely there was no robbery. In fact, in fact, after the prejudging, if this was some sort of robbery, I believe there would have been waves of YouTubers, much like myself, saying, Hassan has this one. Hassan will win this one. Hassan, you're Toronto Pro Champion. And I never seen that. I never seen that at all. In fact, myself personally, I thought the midsection was going to be the Achilles heel, was going to be too much for Hassan. His, his midsection was a little bit big, with all due respect. And Ian, his conditioning was in, and, you know, I, I figured that it was going to be between him and Ross. Let's go through these shots, guys. I need. I noticed another YouTube channel, Goat Fitness. If you guys never checked out Goat Fitness, go over to Goat Fitness. Subscribe to his channel. He did this uh, same comparison. Nice to hear a couple of opinions on this, because not everybody agrees with bodybuilding. And sometimes people are watching a video and thinking, hmm, I'm thinking otherwise. So... Go to the other channel. Maybe they're thinking the same way. Hassan, he's not even posing here. He's kind of, it's like he's done the shot. Now, here is one where he's in the same perpendicular, diagonal, or whatever it would be. Whatever it would be. He looks the same angle as Ian Valier. It's probably a clearer shot, though. Silhouette-wise, Ian does have a better uh, a physique. I wouldn't say he has a better physique. He has a better midsection. Throws it all together, but Hassan winning on all other aspects, including those great big arms and the wheels. Not too many people can say they're bullying Ian in the wheel department. Here's the front lat spread. And again, guys, yeah, yeah. If Hassan won this one, it would be the same fingers pointed to Hassan saying he, he robbed Ian Valier. Look at the midsection. And like I said, guys, with all due respect... It's hit or miss with this guy. If he can bring in a tight midsection, I mean, it is what it is. Now here is the individual shots, the closer up shots. And Hassan looks worlds better here. A whole world. Maybe not worlds, but that's the world's theory. Hmm. He looks so solid. He looks so good. And Ian, he's more of a physique. He's not a physique guy. Don't get me wrong. He's not a physique guy, but he's more slender of a slip of a midsection. He's got lots of mounds of muscle, them quads, things of that nature, and the lats, calves, a little weak, I have to say. Here is the side chest development, and I don't know if it's Ian's calves are weak or is Hassan's huge. Hassan Mustafa has big calves, massive big calves, big midsection too. So here's the question. If you're not noticing the midsection... Hassan has this one. Wheels, Ian might be slightly drier. I'll give him that. But look at the arms. Look at them great big arms, mate. Who cares about straw to gloats? Here's the closer up shots. And here's the ones that are in Ian's favor. Because look at the look at the gloats. I don't know who cares about gloats, but look at them gloats. And look at them arms of Hassan. So yeah, it's, it's muscle versus condition. And the pec. I mean, if you're going to notice the pec tear, it's not going to really... Matter a whole lot in this competition. Yeah, I made a video on that anyway. So, you know you know my opinion. Here's the side uh, tricep. You know my opinion on Ian's chest. Things of that nature. Happens to the best of them. This is hard to judge, this one. Ian had some sort of surgery. some some Something with his tricep, to my knowledge. Somebody will let us know in the comment section below. But yeah, he's not going to have that big arm of Hassan. But what he does, I mean, what he does, he has a, a perfect midsection. Compare just the physiques, the midsections. Who's who's winning? Huh? Yeah, you see it changes a little bit. Go to the back. Wow, Hassan means business, guys. He's flattening Ian, in my opinion. Uh, Latin insertions, huge big quads. But the thing of it is, Ian is peeled he's shredded and hassan is not here is the closer up shots and this is where you can really see 
thin skin, things of that nature that Ian definitely possesses over Hassan Mustafa. So it's a scale for the judges, I'm sure. They're thinking, is he that much better than Ian? Is he that much wider, thicker, Latin surgeons, things of that nature, more symmetrical, blah, blah, blah. Well, not really blah, blah, blah. They have to go through the, you know, calves, everything, everything. It, it's close. In my opinion, it is close. Ian is better conditioned, though. And that is ultimately, I'm sure, how he won. Here is the rear double. Hmm. If you look at the feet, you notice the feet. Hassan Mustafa, he is pulling a Kevin Lavroni. He's trying to make himself look a little bigger, if you know what I'm saying. Some of you do. Some of you do. It's it's a bad angle also for Ian Valier. So bring on the, the closer up shots. And today's video is brought to you by NPC News Online. Also uh, brought to you by God. I'm just joking. I don't believe in God. Ooh, ow. It's got a sharp, sharp pain. Right in my back. Anyway, anyway. Ian Valier, the closer up shots, and I did size them a little bit different. Yes, because I do believe in that rear double, Hassan was stepping backwards. Or forwards. But they're, they're reverse, so it's backwards. So Ian, yeah, he holds his own. It's not like... Uh, Hassan's that much better in the lats, but Ian is more conditioned, I would wager to say. Here's the abs and thigh. And as, as, as I was saying, Hassan, his midsection did look a little thick here at the Toronto Pro. Can hardly see any of these guys anyway. They blend right in with the, the spray tan background. For sure, they run out of paint. Hey, yo, Fred, we're running out of paint. Yeah, use that spray tan stuff. Huh? Lenny? Yeah. Anyway, kind of sounded like Lenny. Yeah, his midsection looks pretty good in the in the abs and thigh. <laughs> Hassan Mustafa, I apologize. Here's the most muscular, and this one here, this shot right here, is very exposing to Ian. Very exposing. But also, his left quad, Ian, his left quad looked smaller in a lot of the other shots, in, uh, or the other events, rather. He brought it back. I think he brought it back. So kudos to Ian. Nobody's noticing that. I do. And the crab position for Hassan Mustafa would crush Ian. So at the end of the day, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of people that would give it to Hassan. Usually, though, when somebody wins, say if Hassan won, everybody would be pointing. Oh, look at the midsection. Look at the belly. Look at that. Look at that. Look at it. Look. But because he got second to Ian Valier, we're all like, oh, look at how luxurious his big muscles are. Oh, Hassan, your muscles are so thick and muscular. But yeah, yeah, that's... <laughs> that's a bit of a stretch when you look at this one. This one here, yeah, Hassan wins. Hassan wins a lot of these shots, guys. The pitcher comparisons, as much as I, you know, I utilize them, they do tell us... A lot, a lot, but they don't tell us everything. Transitions, things of that nature. The judges are looking at them at all times. If you get a big whale of a lobbyist of a midsection hanging out, rub-a-dub-dub, yeah, they're going to notice it. And Hassan didn't. It was thick. So, he, you know, he got second. He got second. It's pretty good. So, do I think it was a robbery? Absolutely not. Do I think Hassan Mustafa has a brighter future than Ian? Could be. Could be. But when it comes to bodybuilding, you never know. You never know. Anybody could uh, come back from a, well, a low placing at the Olympia and win the, the bloody trophy. A la Sean Roden. Huh? Hit thumbs up on the video, guys. Like I said, go over to Goat Fitnesses and watch his point of view on this subject. Have a great one, guys.